Welcome to this episode of That's Good Science, where we recognize that scientific excellence comes in many different shapes and sizes, and also that biologists just can't resist a good acronym. Today, we're getting the skinny on fat and celebrating the development of an important mouse model for studying the physiology of fat, the fat attack mouse. How do you study the role of fat? Well, if you're an old school biologist embracing the tenets of reductionism rather than a newfangled whole genome sequencer, you simply obliterate it. And this is what led to the pre-2005 mouse models that helped scientists understand the consequences of the loss of adipocytes. But the constitutive nature of these models made it difficult to differentiate between short-term and long-term effects. Enter Utpal Pajvani and colleagues in Philip Scherer's lab. They created a clever construct where the P20 and P10 catalytic domains of the apoptosis-inducing protein caspase-8 were each fused to a dimerization domain. This mutant dimerizes upon binding the ligand AP20187, available exclusively from Clontech as the BB homodimerizer, reconstituting caspase-8 activity and inducing apoptosis. Pajvani and colleagues targeted apoptosis to adipose cells by driving this construct with an adipocyte-specific promoter and then created a strain of mice that stably expresses this construct. And thus was born the inducible fatless mouse model, the fat attack model, which stands for fat apoptosis through targeted activation of caspase-8. Used in dozens of subsequent studies, this model shows how a clever little addition is expanding our understanding of the physiology of fat and increasing our ability to combat the huge problems of obesity, diabetes, atherosclerosis, and hypertension. And that's good science.